it's Chauncey Phillips here with Wet Movie One, and you know we got our badges here with the Stanley's Kamikaze Expo, and yeah. they've actually changed this thing around a whole lot. Normally it was in that one building, in that one spot. Yeah, now it's in like two separate ones. It's all spread throughout here, and we don't even really know exactly where anything is, so we're yeah. trying to figure everything out. But like the main stage thing is like over there, and I think Stanley's up there now. He's talking, yeah. Yeah, but we're gonna kind of walk around here and. Dude, but it's Halloween right now. What are you supposed to be? I know who you are. You're Al from Tim Taylor's Tool Time. No, no, look, yeah. look, look. I, I know I should have a white t-shirt, yeah. but I'm a cholo. Oh, I didn't know who you are. That's why I don't have that top button, man. Oh. I'm supposed to be a cholo. Oh, okay. The whitest cholo around. I guess. Yeah. And I'm just Chauncey. Yeah. That's it. I've seen a lot of Beetlejuice today. Have you noticed that? I saw a handful of them, a too. A couple Beetlejuices, yeah. But we're gonna pretty much going to go around here, see what we see, see who we run into. And yeah. you're, you're only going to be here until like 4 or something. Maybe a little bit later. Hopefully. Because so then you may vanish from the video at some points. I don't know. Yeah. But like, let's hopefully we get some decent video. Like yeah. I said, we don't know where everything is exactly. Mm -hmm. I know one of the people I'm at the most interested in seeing here is Grumpy Cat. You are? Yes. I don't know if Grumpy Cat will be able to get close to Grumpy Cat. That'd be cool. Or Grumpy Cat will grant us an interview or not, or we yeah. might be denied one. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. You think Obi Plaza will be here behind Grumpy Cat doing the voice? Maybe. Yeah. But she might have stinky breath after a while, so she's going to be behind him the whole time. Probably. Yeah. But we're, gonna, we're at Kamikaze now, so we're going to explore go, the convention man. and see what we see. All right. Down that aisle. Well, we run into Jill Kill here, and, and how do you like this the new layout of Kamikaze? What do you think uh, about this? It's extremely overwhelming, and it's like the internet threw up, and I'm stuck on a Tumblr, and I can't scroll out right now. Yes, and last night you were, as, you know, and you're still pretty much dressed as star. Well, my sorta. hair is still done up, but yeah. Yeah, but you're star for the law school. I'm going to wash my hair after this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But how have you enjoyed this? But, yeah, you, you know, you with the hammer. You, come back, come back in the frame. He loves to mess around with his hammer and hit Steve Camarelli over the hey, hand with it normally. Yeah, that, that's what I do. I, I just scared him to begin with it. You did? Yeah. I, maybe I should bomb him on the hand with it now. Nah, he has, has post-traumatic stress disorder about these things. Yep. Uh, yeah, but it's good to, to run into you here. And have you seen anything recently? Has there been anything new you've watched I or anything? I saw Crimson Peak. And what did you think of that? I thought it was um, really cool looking and crazy and just very Guillermo del Toro yeah. meets Flowers in the Attic, kind of. I liked it, though. I, I liked it. I thought it was I liked pretty it, cool, but... but I don't know. It was yeah. interesting. It felt like a, a TV pilot. Like, I would have liked yeah. to watch the show more than the movie. It also looked like he was wish he could have done it in Spanish. Yeah. Didn't you almost feel like it would, would be like the way he would have done, like, around the time of, like, Devil's Spanish. Backbone? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it, it felt really like a Spanish horror film. And he was, like, dying to do it in Spanish, but he couldn't because it wouldn't have as big of a release. Yeah, you can't get a budget for a Spanish audience. No, anymore. but it still was, I thought, pretty cool. I, I liked it. was it. a creepier thing. Yeah, yeah. I like I like gothic period pieces and everything. I like H.P. Lovecraft and all that sort of thing. But and This convention, though, like you were saying, it's giving you kind of a claustrophobic feeling. It's well, a it's little just bit every more single stuffed character up. in the world is here in costume, and it's just like... I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot. Because it go. is Halloween. We haven't, even, <laughs> we haven't even said that it actually is Halloween. I know, still. it's Halloween, and you're wearing a Tales of Halloween shirt. Yeah, Tales of Halloween shirt, the best thing I have just to put on. I mean, it's it says, Halloween. It says Halloween. You know, I just threw on whatever, too. Like, it's just, you can't, I can't dress up all the time. I can't no. do Halloween every day. I mean, I do, but I can't. But I'll let you go, though, because I know you want to get out of I here. I mean, it's not that I don't like you. It's that I'm, I'm wearing sunglasses on camera because I'm tired and hungover. Yep. <laughs> Or as I say after doing the gym, pupitos. Pupitos? That's what I always say, pupitos. It's like a way of saying poop down. Oh my god, that's I, cute. I don't know if it's real or not, I just sort of made it up. Yeah, but yeah. you're pupitos. I'm pupitos. Pupitos is this. Okay. So, we'll see you later, Jill. And good to see you again. I guess see you at the next uh, convention or something. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we'll Come gonna, on, man. Okay, let's Come keep on, going we, around we, here. We, so we, we got a jog around here, man. Yep. Come on, we got to go, man. Okay. We're over here, like in the autograph area now. You're still jogging. Yeah. But like, there's like a lot of couple, a couple people down here, like Phil Lamar, but not too many like really big people. You noticed? No. no. Like Jaime Mandel didn't come back again. Like I had a feeling after that last time that was gonna be his one and only appearance here. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, watch the one last year when we talked to him. Well, yeah, we'll link both of our videos from last year in the description. So you can box. see them and see like kind of the differences and how they lay this out different. Well, now we're here with Danny Tamarelli, and I think the first thing we got to bring up is. You planted a wet one on Laurie Beth Denver. Oh, you saw I that saw picture? I saw the picture. I mean, you can't confirm or deny if my lips are actually touching hers, yeah. but it is a quality photo. No, we can't confirm or deny, but, but I have a feeling if, it, if you didn't I mean, touch, you wanted to. I, well, here's the thing. I mean, I hadn't seen Laurie Beth in a long time, and there's a lot of pent-up 
yeah. stuck there, you and, know? And like, things happen back in the day, but I was too young and she no, was you older. Would, yeah, it would have like, been illegal. Now, Lori Beth would have put it away. It would have been illegal. It, yeah, you would have sent her away for a while. Well, you know what? I wouldn't have told. No, Truth you, be told, it would have been my secret yep. until it was, you know, statute of limitations and yeah. all that stuff. Then you would have come out about it and told exactly. everybody about it. Exactly. But instead, I just posted a picture and just see what happens. Yep. And yeah. Lori Beth's going to be here tomorrow, yeah, she'll so be here tomorrow. maybe it will happen again. I mean, look, if you know, someone you know, asks that question, I'm going to plant one right on it. Yeah, you should. That should be your new thing. Well, you, I mean, you, you, you could you charge. Be there tomorrow? You could, no, I'm not going to be here. I uh, wish, because I could have well, witnessed could it a that, lot. Well, you would have asked the question. I would have course. asked it, and then you would have done it in person. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yep, and you had the big all that reunion, too, in New York, I yep, saw. Yeah, we did that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. And you've been tempting us with these tater tots. No, and, stop yeah, it. Ah, yeah, ah, everyone keeps ah, on trying to feed you things. They're yeah, they're, not, they're, they're ah, filling your belt ah, with food. Ah, <laughs> yeah, look, there's a whole bunch more of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, These hands, no, I hope they're clean no, enough. Okay. No, I can't eat that. No. Come on. No. Uh, no, you won't make me eat that. You, you know what happened. You'll give me a goal, so, and you might choke to death. And I'll have to give you CPR. Be careful. Are you all right? Benny, that's alright. Benny, oh. Benny, that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Are you okay? Uh, you're okay. Oh, you're alright. You got so hot and bothered over the Lori Beth Denberg talk, and then yeah. that eating those those tater tots made it even worse. Don't cry, homie. It's alright. You'll be alright. my life. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know who he's dressed as? Because he, he keeps on saying who he is, but do you know? Can you can you even figure it out? You don't know. Friday? No, man. I'm the whitest chola on, on earth. That, that's, that's, what, that's, up, that's what he keeps saying. How you doing? I said, it, I said I thought he was Al from Tim Taylor's Tool Time. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't, he didn't like didn't that like one. That. I no? don't like that. Wait, wait. I make, don't like that one, Tim. No? Does this make it a white? Is this not? It's, the one button does it. it. It's just one button. I guess that's what does it. Yeah. But it was good running you. Did, did, is there anything new co that you want to talk about or anything new you've been up, up to lately? Just lazy? check out manboobscomedy.com. Yeah. Check out jounce.org and check out our podcast that Mike and I do. Okay, cool. Well, well, it's just a Danny and Mike. It was good seeing you and actually this time you didn't get hit over the head with a hammer. Well, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Watch Mike video. Go to his page yeah. and then you'll find out if he hits me with a... Okay. Yeah. 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 Spoiler alert, hey, I yeah. said no. Hey, at no? least it wasn't my love hammer. No. Now we're traipsing our way to the other building, and you know it, it, it's a real hot day today, though, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's, it's right. like it's not that bad if you stay out here long enough. It is. No, and like I, I, I like really, I'm like kind of like Dr. Moreau in the sun. My hands get all red and stuff like that when I'm out in the sun too long. Yeah. I've got like almost like a weird allergy to the sun or something. It's mm -hmm. very, very strange. Yeah. So I can't. You're, you've always been kind of like that, though. I don't know what it is. It's like. I really think I'm a true vampire sometimes. Yeah, because you're always in dark places watching movies. Like, because I see you always going to movies. Like, what every single weekend? Like, it's almost, you almost see everything, don't you? Usually on the uh, Thursday night movies. Yeah. And then sometimes something on Saturday, but mainly Thursday is the most one. Yeah. But now we're like kind of traipsing from one building area to the so other. Right, so let's go. And, and this is like where the food cart carts are, yeah. are and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of other ones over there, and the parking here was like crazy. It was like forty and fifty dollars to park. I saw There's one that said hundred for like VIP parking. Yeah, it's insane the, the, how much money it is in here. But now we're just trying to make our way over there. Yeah. As you see, though, like I said, we're going through the food court alley, and we'll see when we get over the other ones. Should be all the dealers and stuff. And was there anything you were going to like look for today, Brandon, or any specific kind of thing you want to try and find? Not exactly. I just come out to hang out with you and. Luna, whoever else comes. Part of the Luna show. should be coming here is later. Is he coming? I don't know if he is. No, Danny's not coming. He's doing like a Halloween. I believe he's going trick or treating tonight. Oh, Jesus. I know. He, that's what he said. So I don't know. And he's going to some kind of Halloween party. So I'm sure he'll have his own videos yeah. of that kind of stuff. So but, we'll see you in the other hall. Yeah, we'll see you in the other hall. I just saw trick or <laughs> Well, now we've made it over to the other building. As you see, though, it is very, very busy here. I don't know. I feel like it's busier than it was any other year we've been here. I know. It's going to start being like Comic-Con in L.A. Yeah, soon I bet the, the tickets is going to get to the point where if you don't have them bought ahead of time, you're not going to have them. Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to become like that. Dude, and in my video just a second ago, I met the Pope, man. I know. He wasn't surrounded by guards or anything. Yeah, you met the Pope. I can't yeah. believe he was here, but I get... I guess he, you know, 
likes these kind of conventions. And, and, he, and he blessed me and everything too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I touched him. I touched him. The Pope likes um, pop culture. You know, like you can't you can't make him if he likes pop culture. He likes pop culture. Yeah, and, it, and just a second ago we were talking about there's an obesity clinic or a obesity convention convention, convention going on here. So after we go into the exhibitor hall over here and look around, we might go over there for the hell of it for a minute or two. I know. I, I don't know how we get into it or how much it is. Yeah. But that might be an interesting thing to look at. So how about we show show them before and after pictures of us? Yeah, they would center. probably go like, oh, you you could be a Come panel speak. Free. Yeah, free. You know, admittance, and we could uh, speak on the behalf of obesity and tell them about how we did it. Yeah, right? So let's go on in. Let's go on in. Well, we've arrived on the floor. So now we're going to explore the floor and see what kind of cool stuff they have for sale. Yeah. So you ready, Brennan? Let's go, man. All right, let's go. You know, Brandon, aren't you getting like some whiffs of some BL stenches walking around in here? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's, it seems like that's what you get, is a lot of BL stenches. Well, well, that's what happens when they go to that food court over here. They yeah. get nachos and, you know, pizzas and stuff, and that's what happens. Yep. But, th th well, they probably blame that on that, but it's probably stinky armpit onion stenches. But they can blame it on their, their jalapeno nachos and stuff. Oh, it's not, I, I don't smell like a B.O., it's my jalapeno nachos I just yeah, ate. Yeah. Yeah? That, it's, it's not because I don't put the odor around or wash my ass. No, no. no. It's that, it's I ate those nachos. Yeah. Brandon, if you want to get this zombie ba grab bag, it's like a zombie grab bag for $20. This is $20. a supernatural grab bag. Yeah, that one's a supernatural, and a zombie but one. that one's a zombie. And this, one's you, just, and this one's just a regular grab bag. You want to get it? You want to risk it? Dude, I remember getting any things like this at the, on the old ice cream trucks back in the day? It is like random like candies and things. Yeah. But like this, I well, had. They were like a dollar or something, weren't they? Yeah. These are like twenty, twenty-five dollars, forty dollars. For forty dollars for that Sons of Anarchy grab bag? Yeah. I don't know. How, about, how about we just grab them and go? Or they, Brandon, put them back. That guy's gonna he'll thump you over the head for the, taking yeah. the grab bag. Yeah, I know. And then you're, they're fall everywhere. And then you know what's in the grab bags, and you know it wants to be. It's not worth it anymore. Yeah. And then I won't give them the money, and I'll say fuck you, and I walk away. Yep. Yeah. Brandon, look over here, man. They've got an old, old Pee-wee's Playhouse toy. And this is like one of the original ones. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And you know, people when they come here, Brandon, they always say like, oh, since it's like, is it a comic book convention? It's like, yeah, well, there is some comics, but like, that's about it. There's not there's comics, comics here too. There's, there's like a little bit sporadically. But, but sporadically, but it's like, a lot of times people go comic con, so they always kind of think these conventions are 100% comics, but they've kind of turned more into pop culture stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, and you really, I come here mainly too, is I just see people in the costumes, like these kind of crazy weird costumes and like yeah, make cosplays. Costumes. And that's to me like the coolest thing is just kind of also looking back on the video later yeah. and then like seeing who you see in the background like who people are dressed as yeah and sometimes people like you know even say something in the comments like, hey i was in your video right? yeah like, like that, that lady like she, later like later she might in. she might say that i was in the video i was in your video yeah yep and she said you see me at 3.5 minutes in or yeah something. Or something like that but i guess we're just going to keep walking around in here now and see what else we can see in here and so far we haven't seen any movies though I saw some movies being, you know, that Sybil Danning was selling. Yeah, but you know what I mean, like it's movie stand. No, that was about the only ones I've seen so far. I hope yeah. we find some. Hopefully. There's got to be some. I do see some underpants back there. You can see them a little bit, some underwear. Dude, they're not called underpants. They're, they're called, called chonies. Chonies. Good Yeah, boys. that's the wet movie term. Yeah. You, you, everyone always laughs at you saying chonies. Well, I just say it because, you know, I, I live in a family where yeah. there's people that say it like that. They say chonies, but you've like always Gabriel. Said... Actually, Gabriel's the first person that ever told me that the word, and I, it's always been in my But head. I still say, that's what I call them now too, chonies, because of you. Yeah, and I say it because of Gabriel. Yep. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Come here, look at this. I think that like they, they've got these shirts confused, like they reprinted them wrong. Look, it says The Walking Dead, yeah. Jurassic Wars. And what happened here, Brandon? Did you do this? Did, 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 did you mess these shirts all up? Okay. Look what you found over here. Those little things, slap them on. Yep, yeah. Now you have to buy it. It's but ten... enough, oh, take it off, Brandon. Now, I... now you have to buy it. It's 10 bucks. Take it off. It's 10 bucks. All right. Well, Brandon, right by Ace Ventura, because Ace Ventura wants to meet Grumpy Cat, yeah. is Grumpy Cat right over here. You can actually sort of see Grumpy Cat through this corner right there. Yeah. Right as close as we're going to get to Grumpy Cat. You guys yeah. want to jump in line. There's no guarantee, so. But there's a, we can get in line. Well, you're, are you Ace Ventura? I am. And you came to see Grumpy Cat, right? I work here. Oh, you work here. Oh, all right. What will we turn up? Okay. And now they've decided to hold up Grumpy Cat so you can get a better view of Grumpy Cat here. Yes? I, I would love to ask Grumpy Cat some questions, but I guess I won't be able to. On your video, Brandon, you were talking about lunch boxes. And look, here's one of the old ones that I actually had as a kid. The, gross, you know, the real Ghostbusters lunch box. And up here, look, they've got some old cars, like the Ecto-1. I think these were some of the later ones, but the old uh, the blaster thing. These are some cool ones. I haven't seen some of these in years. 
Yeah, and these are kind of weird with it. Uh, that one that shoots the darts and a bunch of different ones. Yeah. I feel like the costume we're seeing the most here, Brandon, is Beetlejuice, don't yeah, everywhere. you? Everywhere. There's like a I'm, lot of Beetlejuice ones, even like uh, Verona Ryder ones here. Yeah, they're, they're Spider-Man. The thing that you have to wonder, though, Brandon, is who's the real Beetlejuice? So if you actually call his name, which one's going to come? You know what I mean? Are I they know, all going to come? Like, we're all going to come from all these different aisles and surround us and stuff. Yeah, we Beetlejuice. Have to, we have, and we have to Beetlejuice. Try. Beetlejuice. Oh, nothing. No, no, because there's too many, and they're 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 all. I'm sure everyone's called them all out. I know. And there's all these other ones, and it's the you? the goal is to figure out which is the real one. I know. Well, we're kind of coming to the end in here. I think Luna may be coming later. I'm not sure though. Yeah. But if not, I might show a little bit more after you leave with my brother and walk around a little Lewis? bit. Lewis? Uh, Lewis? Oh, Benji. Oh. oh, Benji. All right. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. That was my homeboy, Lewis. Yeah. Well, you know, you never know, because under under a Deadpool know, mask, it could be anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well. I don't know, but how have you been enjoying walking around Kamikaze? You know, we're trying to show as much as we can, but... We, we, we pretty much just came here to hang out with each other and stuff, you know? Pretty much just to hang out and kind of Mess around. give commentary as we walk around, or traipse around, as I like to say. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, but how have you liked it, though? It's, I think it's been... It's fun. Yeah, I... I... For some reason, it's not as, as exciting as, like, previous ones. Just because it's bigger doesn't make, make it more cooler, you know? But, you know, bigger isn't better, or something like that. Yeah, we used to like saying that when we were bigger. Yep, I guess we did. Well, Sean, it was cool hanging out with you today, man. I know. In so case I don't see you again in this video, make sure you guys check out my side. Link down below. You're going to see the stuff you saw. And uh, now I guess I'll see you later, Brennan. Bye. Bye. Well, Brennan's just left, and we ran now into Luna Meow. Oh, hi. Yeah. Luna Mouse. Yeah, the, and you're Lu Luna the Mouse. you got to put the put the hoodie on. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. you got to show that. So wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Well, are weird, but you know, whatever. And... So there's somebody who's been flying us around everywhere we're going. I don't know if he's a stalker or what. Who is that back there? Um, you know, everyone always says in your videos and Brendan's and mine that there's a creeper that follows me around. Yeah, somebody that creeps around a lot. Yeah, he should just show himself already. Yeah. So today's the day that he was just like, you know what, I don't care. So he's finally showing himself yeah. in his true form. Yeah, this is how he really looks, guys. Hey! Yep. I hope you're impressed. Yep. Yeah. And he's lurking around everywhere, and he's got a knife, and I'm pretty sure it might be a real knife. It is. We, yeah. yeah, we almost didn't make it in. Nope, and it's, you, you got here the last 30 minutes. You missed Brandon. Brandon was, go, you know, we, he was trying to be as late as he could, but he had to leave at 4.30. Uh, but I don't even think you're going to be going inside of the convention. We're just going to be traipsing around, and this last part of the video is just going to be us walking to the other side of the convention. Oh, yeah. that kid just about hit me. I think they did hit me in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you. Yeah. It's crazy. Out here. I, 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 that's the crazy things you see. Indiana Jones back there with the dog, and that guy—he he can't that was see anything. The Mad Max, right? Yeah, the Mad Max. The plane, yeah. I've seen a couple Mad Max cosplays here today, and even Waldo over there. Where's Waldo Where back he? there? That's a, a Waldo woman. Where's oh, Waldo? Yeah, yeah, a little truck thing. Yeah, we, we walked through here earlier with Brendan, and it was very, very busy. So now it's kind of like... It's pretty much died down, because this convention is over at 6 o'clock. I feel just, like this is still, like, good turnout, though. I feel like there's still doing... Oh, no. This con it was the busiest I've ever seen this convention really? ever. I thought it wasn't going to be because of Halloween. I thought it was going no, to be like... No. Yeah. Everyone's come here more than I've ever seen. At least it's finally cooling down a little bit because it was boiling hot out I here. Know. I know. Yeah, I'm happy with the time I showed up. It's okay. Yeah, so at least you got here for a little bit to see something. But you really can see pretty much the whole convention just walking around out here. Yeah, see, I mean, I the most important, well, the coolest part to me is like seeing the costumes of people cosplay, so... Yeah, at least, at least you're seeing some of it, and that's yeah. pretty much what you come here for. Because they didn't, there was not that much cool things for sale today. We looked... And there wasn't as many cool items. Oh, see, so like I'm not really missing out. No, and I know the one, per the one, the one person you want to see, but it's not a person. But I'm sure we would consider it to be a person. Was Grumpy Cat? Yeah. And she's already gone. I miss so. Her. And she never comes to LA either. She's from Arizona, but she never. So Grumpy Cat's that's why Gr Grumpy Cat's so upset because it's so hot in Arizona. <laughs> she's so grumpy. Even though Grumpy Cat has like enough money to buy all the mansions in the world, yeah. I'm sure Grumpy Cat. I don't know. Who knows? I would like to see Grumpy Cat's house. Me too. It's yeah, brilliant. to see what it looks like, and there's looks a little bit like the yeah the clock with orange guys. Don't walk yeah. down that way. We won't be seen again Michael. if we walk down there with them. Michael is oh yeah, Mike, Michael Myers is coming this way. Oh, hi. The shape. Yeah, he's a little bit like your own creeper. Yeah. You know, just a little That's bit. That's my shadow. Yep. Yeah. And I hope he doesn't get overheated in that costume. What costume? That's not a costume? That's his wardrobe? Yeah, that's... What do you mean? What oh, costume? Oh, okay. 
Oh, he didn't dress. <laughs> At least so finally, you know, we can just film and not worry about the creeper peeking in the videos. Because, you know, when you watch a lot of videos, it's a little bit like Fine Waldo. You know, you might see him lurking around a couple of times. And, and now? And now it's free range. I don't have to worry about where I put the camera anymore. It's perfect. Yeah, so now we're heading over to the other part of the building. We'll see what else we see. But at least we got a little bit of video with Luna. I'm sure we're getting a little bit more. But we got to get some more video for your channel, too. So let's just keep on walking around. Well, you did end up deciding to come in for a little bit. Yeah, I got and my you, badge. And you got your badge. You tried to find the Power Rangers guy, and he was gone. And, and in your video, you showed that all we saw was his cake. Yeah. That was so, it. I mean, at least I got to see him. Yep. So how have you enjoyed coming in here and walking around? I thought it was cool. I'm glad I at least got to see how it is. Yeah, you, at least you got to see some of it. I, guess I got to see, like, how the booths were set up. Yeah. So, I mean, it's good. Yep. And look, there's uh, a Doc Brown over there and uh, Marty McFly. Is he right over there, Luna? Oh, I just, I just smiled at them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Vader. So we'll see what else we see here. Oh, yeah, there's the giant Darth Vader. Well, Luna, we've we've traipsed all around the con. What do we do? And in, in your video, people are going to have to watch your video, and you stabbed a bunch of people with a knife. It was really good. It was so good. And at least you got to walk around the last like 25, 30 minutes of the convention, yeah. see all that kind of stuff. It was cool. I liked it. In the end, it was fun. How did you good. enjoy stabbing people? You committed a lot of murder today. I did. It was good. I liked it. I know. It. I liked my last kill. I just hope you don't trade that knife in for a real knife later. No, well, we'll see. And in your video, too, you made a lot of promises about some, some pictures and all that kind of stuff. So people really need to watch your angle because it was basically you and me kind of traipsed around in one long take. Yeah. And you hear a lot of us talking about all kinds of random things. It's like we're just like handed with the cameras going. So you Pretty guys much. will see like how we talk. I think, people, I think people will like to just yeah. hear, see us just discussing. Yeah, candid, like, life, you know? Yeah. Well, it can't go that way. Well, I guess that's all for this video, Luna. But at least we got to run into you. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.